Hey, good afternoon, my name's Josh. Welcome back to the workshop. Today we're going to talk about why we use nails instead of screws on certain jobs. Right then, so I hear you say, Josh, why would I want to use nails over screws? Right, it takes more time banging them in. Then screws are obviously easier. We drive them in, you get some real chunky screws. Now there is a reason, right? And there's a couple couple jobs in particular that I'm thinking about. A couple jobs that I see people using um, screws over nails where I wouldn't, and I wouldn't recommend it at all. So this time of year, summertime, so we're looking, there's loads of fencing going on, people are building lots of sheds, small workshops, that sort of stuff. And I'm constantly seeing on the internet people saying, hey look, you want to use screws, right? Use some four inch screws, three inch screws, size 10, whatever you want, when you're building a workshop frame. And I've even heard people sit there and say, hey, look, you're popping the cant rail on, which is like the mid rail or like your three rails when you're doing some feather edge or close border fencing, use the screws. I've even seen, saying that, I've even seen people saying, hey, look, you drywall screws, put your feather edge in. Don't use drywall screws, screws, put your feather edge in. Now, I can go into like the real, I can go into the physics of it. We can talk about shear strength. We can talk about tensile strength. But in reality, it's just easier if I show you, okay? So we've got a... I've got a three inch framing now here. This is out of like a, a strip of nail, so this will go in a nail gun. And then I have a, so I've got a size 10 screw here. So, right, we'll put the nail in. I was just about to nail the screw in, we won't do that. So we'll put the nail in, screw the screw in. Now, ultimately, when we think, so we're sitting there thinking, say fencing is a good example, we're gonna, uh, we're going to pop that up, there's going to be a massive storm, right? The wind's really buffeting, it's blowing, it's moving, it's shaking, right? So the wind really gets on it, the nail just bends. No bother at all, right? And then when everything's sorted, we can just bend everything back into place, maybe pop a couple nails in, job's good. And if, however, we screw everything, it's fine to a certain extent, and then they snap, right? Snoo screws are great, snooze are great, but screws are great and they have a lot of strength in them but they're very brittle whereas a nail isn't and so that's why we use nails over screws another reason why we don't want to be using screws for feather edge fencing putting the feather edges on especially is because the uh, screws will split the feather edge i don't know why it does it It must be because of the threads going in and it's like on the edge of the timber or whatever but yeah i always use so I, for putting my camera rails on, I probably use like a 75 mil nail, three inch nail, and then for putting my feather edge on, I'd use like a 38 mil nail because I obviously use a core nailer. But um, but yeah, I hope that clears that up. I hope you understand. If you've got any questions, please let me know, and um, we'll have a great day. All right, take it easy.